a sine transform of f of x which is equal to e to the power minus ax by x. So first let me write the Fourier sine transform formula. The Fourier sine transform formula is f s of s is equal to integral 0 to infinity f of x sine yes x dx since it is sine transform it is sine yes x okay now let me substitute the function integral 0 to infinity what is f of x f of x is e to the power minus ax by x sine s x dx okay so this is my f s of yes okay so how do i solve this integral in this integral if i had only these two terms, that is the E term and sine term, I have a formula for that. But now what I have, I have an X term extra in the denominator. So what will I do? I will make this X term vanish. Okay, so how will I do that? To make this X term vanish, I will differentiate both the sides by ds. So d by ds of f sub fs of s is equal to d by ds of integral 0 to infinity e to the power minus ax by x sine yes x dx. Okay. It is differentiating with respect to yes. Okay. So now when I differentiate this term with respect to x, I inside I have only one term which is with respect to x and that is sine yes x okay so when i differentiate what happens integral 0 to infinity e to the power minus a x by x okay so when i differentiate this particular term with respect to yes what will i get i will get x into cos yes x dx okay so now what happens this x and x gets cancelled Okay, so it becomes integral 0 to infinity e to the power minus ax cos yes x dx. Okay, now to solve this I have a formula. Integral e to the power ax cos bx dx is equal to e to the power ax by a square plus b square a cos bx plus b sine bx. Okay, so this is my formula. I will use this formula here. But here, instead of a, I have minus a. And instead of b, I have yes. Okay, so now when I substitute, this becomes e to the power minus ax by minus a the whole square and instead of b I have yes so yes the whole square into yes what is a a is minus a so minus a cos yes x plus yes into sine yes x okay so what is the limit the limit is integral 0 to infinity. Okay, so now I should solve this. I very well know that e to the power minus infinity is 0 and e to the power 0 is 1. Okay, so now when I solve this, what is my upper limit? My upper limit is infinity. So, where if, if I substitute infinity in the place of x, I will get e to the power minus infinity so, this entire term becomes 0 because 0 into anything is 0. Why is this? This is because e to the power minus infinity is 0. Okay. My upper limit is over. My lower limit minus. Okay. e to the power 0 by minus a into minus a is plus a. a square plus s square. Fine. Right? So, inside my bracket what I have. Minus a when I substitute. 0 for x cos 0 is 1 and sine 0 is 0. So it becomes minus a. This term will also become 0. Okay. 
So what do I have? e to the power 0 is 1. So minus into minus is plus plus a by a square plus f square. Okay, so what is this? This is d by ds of Fourier sine transform of yes. Okay, but what do I require? I require Fourier sine transform of yes. Okay, so what should I do to get Fourier sine transform and to make this differentiation go? What should I do? I should integrate on both sides. So when I integrate on both sides, integration and differentiation will get cancelled and I will have integration of a by a square plus s square. It is differentiation with respect to yes. So integration is also with respect to yes. Clear? So now I take this a outside. Integration of 1 by a square plus a square d. Yes. I know a formula which states integration of 1 by a square plus a square dx is equal to 1 by a tan inverse of x by a. Okay. The only change is here when I compare this. Instead of dx, I have ds. So, this will become a into 1 by a tan inverse of instead of x I will put yes by yes by a. So what happens? This a and a gets cancelled. So my Fourier transform sine transform of yes becomes tan inverse of yes by a. This is my answer. You have any doubts? You can ask me.